All right, speaking of football, the price of a popular game day food is returning to normal. Denver 7's Jason Grenauer explains how that can be good for us and local businesses. Just in time for football season, a bit of a return to normal when it comes to the cost of this kind of spicy chicken. For restaurants like here at Fire on the Mountain in Denver, for the first time since early 2020, wing prices are back to their pre-pandemic levels. The pandemic spiked prices of chicken wings. There was even a reported shortage at one point. At Fire on the Mountain, that price hike was costing the restaurant about $100,000 per year more. They kept their doors open, tried to minimize the price increase for customers, and turned to things like delivery. Now, this locally owned and operated restaurant says they have some long-awaited breathing room. It's a huge deal for us just because our margins were so slim at that point. We kind of took the hit there um, instead of, you know, we raised prices slightly, but not enough to cover the, the cost of wings. Um, so we took the hit, really, for the three-year period. And now um, we'll just be a slightly more profitable and still be able to deliver the same quality product we always have. And this isn't just here locally. The USDA says nationwide, the wholesale price of wings is now at the lowest it's been since May of 2020. And it couldn't have come at a better time with sports seasons firing up. Yeah, demand then also goes up for this kind of deliciousness. Reporting in Denver, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7. Great news, wings are down and football's back. Spicing up life Things are looking in up. so many ways, yes. <laughs>